Welcome back everyone. We are here off-road at Fort Peaks Trail in Arizona. This is uh, just off Route 87, north of Fountain Hills. We have uh, a few people here today. We do have the Forerunner here with the Ram Rebel, uh, the new truck that was just released to the channel. And we also have my 83-year-old father, who is quite the outdoor adventurer. And also, we have Loki, our Belgian Malinois, and my brother and his wife, my sister-in-law, Teresa. So. Uh, we're going to do some drone footage and enjoy this beautiful overcast day in Arizona and do some wheeling um, and just check out the area. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me, I exist to write your story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring, yeah Just want a life that is worth every day exploring, yeah so I let my brother borrow the, um, the other two coyote deflators for the ram So he's airing down over there on that side And this should take us down to 18 PSI in each of the tires We'll see how that goes And we are off. We got the tires down to about 18 PSI. We noticed that as we were driving in, the bumpiness of the road is really um, quite aggressive. So airing down helped tremendously with smoothing out the ride. And this trail goes about 26 miles long. If you go from start to finish and elevation up to about 6,000. So um, we headed out and just honestly enjoying the scenery and there were random campsites dispersed throughout the trail which were uh, excellent place I think we're gonna head there in the future because they're quite secluded there are also some areas where you can pull off and shoot if you're uh, into shooting so we did not bring our guns uh, today we did not know about that so that's something definitely to look forward to doing in the future as well the trail is quite tame. I don't think four-wheel drive is necessary. However, uh, maybe some areas, a higher clearance vehicle uh, would be beneficial. So we just went along here and you can see this, my sister-in-law, Teresa. And not only has she never driven a truck as large as the Ram Rebel, but uh, it's a first time off-road as well. So I have to give her props for uh, handling it and doing a great job driving at certain areas while we were doing some footage and video. That's my 83 year old dad getting out of the forerunner. <laughs> it's always a challenge, but he's a trooper. He's arrived. He's arrived. We're in a spot in Four Peaks Trail right at the intersection of 143. And we're gonna set up a little uh, lunch area here, have our lunch and then head up the mountain. Definitely a little cooler in this area. I think we dropped about seven degrees since we came off the, um, the 87. Those of you who are new to the channel, uh, we are beginners when it comes to off-roading. So these are our first off-road capable vehicles and we've taken a few trips off-road already, but we are learning as we go. So uh, I am not new to working on cars. I've done that my whole life, but as far as knowing what equipment to pack uh, and especially here like for lunch you know we uh, we did forget a few items but we learn as we go after lunch we packed it in and started heading a bit further up the mountain at this point we were not sure if we were going to make it as far as we wanted to because we did have some prior uh, commitments so Pop hauled himself back in the Forerunner and we were off heading up a little bit further up the trail so this is some drone footage um, of us heading a little bit more north and it gives you an idea of the, uh, the flatness of the trail and kind of the surrounding area, how beautiful it is. 
right around here is uh, close to where we turned around but you can see the transition from more of a desert landscape to more of a, a forest or a, uh, a pine area so this is about 13 to 14 miles in so I think we made it uh, halfway maybe a little bit more than halfway before we had to turn around and start heading back right here our total off-road time was probably about two and a half hours maybe closer to three but it was just a real nice getaway from being on pavement and in the valley with the hustle and bustle going on so overall just a real relaxing day and well worth to get out with the family we definitely will come back here when we have a little bit more time and try to make it all the way up uh, to the highest elevation. And I think Roosevelt Lake is close to there as well. So uh, we aired back up at the staging areas and headed out here. This is where the dirt meets the pavement, our Route 87, and we were back off. Mm -hmm. 